What is the objective of showing that the set G, consisting of X and Y in the range of zero, is closed under matrix multiplication and proving that G, under matrix multiplication, forms a group? I. To show that G is closed under matrix multiplication, we need to show that for any two elements X and Y in G, their product XY is also in G. Let's take two arbitrary elements X and Y in G. Since X and Y are both in zero, they are both real numbers excluding zero. The product of two real numbers excluding zero is also a real number excluding zero. This is because the product of two norm minus zero real numbers is norm minus zero. Therefore, XY is also in zero, which means that XY is in G. So, G is closed under matrix multiplication. Roman 2. To prove that G, under matrix multiplication, is a group, we need to show that G satisfies the four group axioms, closure, associativity, identity, and invertibility. 1. Closure. We have already shown that G is closed under matrix multiplication in part I. 2. Associativity. Matrix multiplication is associative. That is, for any three elements x, y, and z and g, size equal to size. 3. Identity. The identity element for matrix multiplication is the identity matrix I, where every element on the main diagonal is 1 and all other elements are 0. Since the identity matrix is a real matrix excluding 0, it is in G. 4. Invertibility. For any element x in G, there exists an inverse x minus 1 in G such that Roman 20 minus 1 equal to x minus 1 is equal to i. This is because x is a non-minus zero real number, and the inverse of a non-minus zero real number is also a non-minus zero real number, which is in G. Therefore, G, under matrix multiplication, is a group.